Hello and welcome to another Dr. Spotfire quick tip video. My name is Jose Livia Aguirre here from Tipco and today I'm going to show you how to use, download and start playing with the well lock mod. So what is a well lock mod? Well, the Tipco Spotfire well lock mod is an open source project aimed at providing solutions for visualizing well log data. Um, the project is hosted in GitHub and can be easily used as a Spotfire mod visualization. The well log mod provides custom visuals for displaying well log data in Tipco Spotfire, and this mod can be a valuable tool for anyone working with well log data and looking for a simple and effective way to visualize this data. So here with me, I have petroleum engineer and data science Atir Alatar. He's also known for his Dr. Data Science YouTube channel. Say thank you for uh, inviting me to uh, your quick tip video. And then uh, we're going to look at an example of using the well log mod on uh, real uh, wireline uh, log data. Uh, so we have uh, several log tracks here. I'm going to go through them. Uh, we have the gamma ray uh, reading here, the uh, gamma ray uh, from the logging while drilling, and an information pressure. And we also have uh, a curve that shows the clustering of the values uh, for each track. And we have the deep resistivity. Here uh, we have the bulk density and a neutron, um, uh, the bulk density and a uh, neutron density. Uh, we have the shear wave uh, um, speed here, uh, the V shell, and the water saturation here, and effective porosity. And then we also have the uh, clay content uh, here. So, as an example of using uh, the well log uh, to kind of assist in uh, identifying the hydrocarbon bearing zones, uh, if we look at the uh, the gamma ray here, uh, especially at this uh, section, uh, we have a uh, relatively low gamma ray. Uh, and then we also have uh, high resistivity. Uh, that's That can be an indicator uh, for hydrocarbon presence, but then we further look at the, uh, for example, the hydrogen, uh, the hydrogen uh, index uh, density and uh, the neutron density. And then we see that the two curves uh, are matching. Um, because whenever we have a, a separation, for example, if we have the density, uh, the density uh, la uh, less than the neutron, uh, the bulk density is in the neutron density, that uh, that means we have a presence of sand or shale, and then uh, vice versa, if we have the neutron density uh, of, uh, large, uh, smaller than the density itself, uh, that means uh, we might have a gas presence. But in here we have the two curves are matching, so if we go further more and we also notice that we have uh, a low v shell so a low shell content which means uh, we have then i mean the majority of the content in this section is sand uh, moreover we have uh, 50 percent water saturation uh, which means uh, then the rest of the uh, let's say the rest of the void filling is uh, uh, probably uh, hydrocarbon uh, and we can also uh, notice here that we have a high formation uh, pressure. So this is this is an example of uh, using the well log to uh, identify, or like insist in identifying the hydrocarbon uh, bearing zone. Uh, what is good about it, it's basically you have the uh, ability to look at multiple uh, well logs uh, all together. And then uh, you can also, for example, highlight uh, one of the zones um, to look at this section across all the, um, uh, the tracks. Uh, and then also you can uh, you can ex uh, exclude uh, like any uh, data uh, if you want uh, to uh, remove them from your uh, analysis and then uh, continue on uh, with the rest of the data. Um, so that's uh, that's what I wanted to share uh, with you uh, regarding uh, the well log mod. Uh, thank you for all the efforts that you put into this, and then, uh, I'm looking forward to see all the updates that uh, you're going to add. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, so the first first thing you need to do, to do in order to get a hold of the well log mod and start using it in Spotfire is to go to Tipco software account in GitHub and search for Spotfire mod like well log. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video and then uh, you will see that the readme file, which is rendered down here, uh, has a little bit of background and some data requirements. The, the data requirements in this version of the well log is uh, unpivoted. So you have one column for the depth Another column for the category where you have your physical properties like gamma ray, porosity, and other attributes, and the value for each one of them. You might have a different format of the data. Maybe you have it pivoted where you have one column for each measure or metric. And then um, if that's the case, in, if you want to use this version, which is the most stable, the, the main version of this, this um, 
uh, this code is is you will need to unpivot the data by using some of the transformation that Spotify already has available. I'm not covering that, but if you are interested in using the other version that has the the format, it's not as stable as this one. It's still on the development, but you're welcome to enhance or make changes to it. You go to branches, and then you go to uh, pivot it. And here you will see that the data requirements are just the way you have it. But again, this is still uh, under development. So uh, just um, you're welcome to, to do that, to contribute. And that's the whole purpose of making this well-locked open source so for anyone to enhance and accelerate the development, development process. So I'm going back to my main branch and then I'm going to download the code here. And I have a video on how to start and create your live server so you can connect Spotify to your code step by step. I'm going to put the link uh, below, but once you have that, you will have a live server that is going to look like this. But please don't, don't get overwhelmed with this code or anything. If you just want to use the well log, you, all you have to do is follow certain steps that I'm going to put at the end of this presentation, just as a summary uh, and reminder. And then uh, once you run the server with the command npm run server from that from a terminal, then you will have a URL that you are going to plug in into your Spotify instance. So in your Spotify instance, uh, here you have the data, and then you are going to click on tool development, developer tools, uh, sorry, uh, create visualization mod. You connect to your live server and then you're going to start using the well log. I already have one version here. It's asking me if I want to override, I click okay. And then I start selecting the data table that I'm going to use in this case, the well log, which is this one, then which is going to be my depth axis. Well, I have a column called depth and I don't want any aggregation. And then I have another one called um, the category is already selected and the value is the value for each category. And I immediately will see the, the, the line. So these, this is a curve on, on one track. So we are seeing one track, one curve. I'm going to add another, another track. In order to do that, I click here and I click this button here and it's going to duplicate my previous track. Now in this track, I might want to change maybe the, uh, the, the type of line. I have certain, certain uh, uh, properties that I can change for the line itself. I can change the color of my line. Maybe I want to have it blue. And uh, if I want another track, I, I click that one. That's going to duplicate my previous one. If I want to delete, this is going to delete the last track. I'm going to delete, uh, close this um, well of data for now. But here you can see that, uh, well, actually no, because I want to show you that I can select, do some certain selections and it's going to look that portion for that selection. And I can also make another selection right here, for example, and it's going to uh, select that portion of the data on this other side. But now let's 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 close this and let's add another curve in one of the tracks. So I have now I have two tracks and these tracks are represented by an accordion. Here I have one track. Here's my second track. I'm going to add another curve in that track. So I click this and I have two tracks. They are overlapping. They are the same track because it's, it duplicates the previous one. But I'm going to change now with maybe the porosity. Now I have this porosity right here. Maybe I want to also see the porosity. The other type of porosity right here. And I want to see how they intersect. Maybe I want to color the line in between. So uh, let me change the color for one of them. Let's do uh, maybe maybe black um, and that's fine. Maybe the other one is going to be uh, green. I go to my first track. I want to color the in-between of the lines. I'm going to select maybe this reddish color and then I'm going to select that I want to be colored in between. And it's going to be colored between those lines. And I can change my scale for logarithmic for for both of them. So I have to go one by one and change it to logarithmic scale. So I'm going to go back to uh, to the regular linear scale for both of my uh, curves in that second track. And I can also have I have an opportunity to change the scale uh, that goes from from zero to to this number. I cannot I cannot see 0.34, uh, but I can change that and that will maybe reduce this empty space and I can have a, a little bit better a closer look to that. Let's do it from point uh, 15 and this other one also from point 15 that's going to be my minimum and then kind of uh, goes from that scale and I have some other properties that I can play with but that's how it works. If you want to save this mod in the library and you want everyone else to to uh, take advantage of it I mean it's not going to send to save the the uh, settings but it's going to make the mod available for anyone else to use then what you do is go to your uh, your mod right here and then you disconnect 
and then you can save your mod to the library or as a file or or um, uh, or, or anything like that. So then you can you can save your mod here in the library, and everyone should be able to use that mod if it's properly signed and everything. Okay, well here's a quick summary of how to get started with a well lock mod. So you're going to download from GitHub the repository the well lock mod. Then you are going to compile and run the live server by running these commands. And by the end, you are going to deploy by creating a new visualization model in Spotfire and connect to that live server and you are ready to go. Thank you, that's all. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe for more information. If, if you have feedback, feedback is welcome. And looking forward to you on our next quick tip video session for Dr. Spotfire. Thank you.